Hi, I'm Jamie, and today I'm doing a book review on The Beginner's American History from Christopher Columbus to John Sutter by D.H. Montgomery. Let me tell you, this is a history book. It doesn't try to make it more interesting than it is, it just tells it like it is. There are some interesting stories in it because it is talking about history and people are interesting. Crazy things happen, sad stuff, happy stuff, but it really does just tell what happened. I do appreciate that it didn't gloss over the good and the bad on both sides of any situation. It just said, this is why these people believed they were right and why they did what they did. This is why these people believe they were right and did what they did. And it didn't really say, we take this person's side. Sometimes it would be honest that what they did was cruel or was not good. But for the most part, throughout the book, it just told what happened. And I appreciate that. A lot of people who recount history in modern days tend to give their own spin on it instead of just telling what happened. And I understand that if you're doing like a reaction to current events or past events, but if you're just writing a history book, you should probably just write what happened and not your own personal what you think of what happened. That can be saved for something else. And I appreciate that this book did a decent job of just saying what happened. I don't know if this has a sequel. I know that we are not going to be reading the sequel if there is by D.H. Montgomery. We are going through a couple of different books. So this was a good resource. This wasn't my favorite book, but it was very informational. You can definitely look through the chapters and find the people that you are looking to teach on. Like the previous book review that I left, A Child's Intro to Poetry, this is not in depth. It talks briefly about each character in history or about each situation, story within history, and each chapter on a person or an event is only like five pages long. Maybe maybe longer. Sometimes they're longer, but it's usually just like a concise five-page summary about a person's life or about what happened during this point in history. So there's a lot of room to do more research and to look into this as little or as much as you would like. If you're looking for something that just does a brief overview of the first half of American history, then this would be a, a good starting off point. Again, it's not my favorite, but it does have its place in, I don't know, goodness. I didn't really like the book, okay? Honestly, it wasn't, it wasn't something I look forward to reading again. I might read it again because I have kids coming up that are gonna be going through US history I don't know, maybe I'll find something better. If I don't find something better, then I will do this again. So there's a more honest review for you. I'm not trying to talk up this book or talk down it. If I was pretty neutral. If I would give it stars, I would probably give it uh, three, three stars. So I hope that was helpful. If you were wanting to know a little bit more about this book and I wish you all a good day. Goodbye.